Hey, band peeps, what's going on? This is called the keyboard. Look, you know, the reason it's called a keyboard is because it looks like a keyboard. <laughs> Sorry, man. I've been locked up way too long. You, you know how nutty I am anyway. Anyway, uh, so what we're going to do today is talk about the notes on the keyboard because the reason if you went to college, what you're doing and you studied like music theory, they would make you take piano lessons because it's visual. Uh, but let's start out with what you see here. You got three black notes, two, three, two, three. And just to show you, this is a, a real keyboard here. See that? That's got more than that. So it does, it just keeps repeating. Uh, so what you got is, let's start with these two right here. So you got two, three, two, and three. All right. Two, three, two, and three. So you got two black notes, three black notes, two black notes, three black notes. And if you already play the piano, you'll know this, and this will be a very easy grade for you. If not, it'll still be a pretty easy grade, but this is important. All right, because you can relate this to your instrument. So first of all, to the left of the two is a C. So you got two, there's a C, all right? Okay, now we're gonna go do the ABCs backwards. So the ABCs are A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So just say that with me, ready? Go ahead, nobody's looking. Here we go, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, but C, B, a a b c so just a b c got it so a b c guess what this is d e now what do you think this is that's a c sharp okay so a b c d e f g notice where the a is the a is to the right of the second of the three keys all right right there okay so there's a there's a flat r g sharp g now remember the alphabet stops when you get to g so it's a b c d e f g a b c and then it just keeps going that way all right like on the real piano over here all right this is my little uh computer keyboard i carry with me in my computer case all right so if you look over here, that would be once again a C. Now on a real piano, you would it would keep going this way. All right. So there's C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C. Notice once again there are no notes between C, D, E, and F. There's E and F and B and C. There's a B and there would be a C over there. Okay, all right. If this was a real keyboard and it went 88, there are 88 notes on the piano. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's 25 notes on this. So figure four times, almost four times this is a real piano. All right, so what your assignment's going to be today is to take the keyboard and start on, on if you're a uh, um, treble clef player, you're going to start on C, uh, middle C, all right, and you're going to go up two octaves and you're going to write the notes. You're going to go C, C sharp, D. And I want you to draw a piano. Now, how do you draw a piano? You know, well, that's not a question you don't get asked every day. All right. So what you do is just draw your lines like this. Just keep going. Do one of these. And then what I would just start with is two, skip one, and go three. See what I got here? Nothing. Three. Okay, here's your E. There's your F. Here's your B. So you're going to have a C there. This is going to be your C, and you're going to have another line. Two. Skip one. Three. All right, get the idea? I'll draw it a little bit bigger. Maybe not bigger, better. Okay, and we're going to go, see that? There's your C, so C, D, E, just write the notes in there and make it easier. F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, and you can do that, we'll do this in flats too, then B, and then you got nothing between B and C here, 
All right. In C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, then F sharp. Good idea. There won't be the won't be one there. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to draw the keyboard. You know, but 25, 30 keys, whatever. Let's make it. Let's make it. Uh, make it uh, 30, 30 some keys. We'll start on the low C here, and then I want you to do is draw the treble clef, or in your case, Yolante, the bass clef. This is this is your everybody. This is Yolante over here. Okay. Yolante, why don't you start on the low, uh, the low, um, we'll start you on the low C for right now, okay? And you're going to go from C up to your C, D, E, go up to, go up to the F up here, okay? That's you, that's you, Yolante, so go up here. So what you're going to do is, you're going to draw a keyboard like this. You're going to draw these are your directions. You're going to draw a keyboard like this, etc. And you're going to draw a staff like this. So you'll want to do a bass clef. Okay, he's going to go from C up to F up here. And then if you're a treble clef player, you're going to draw a treble clef and you're going to start at C down here. And why don't you go up to C up here and just draw your keyboard with your notes on it and then just point the note toward the, uh, point the note toward the C like for that. And then if you have a C sharp, you can point it right there like that. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I want you to do that. And uh, if you, you know, these are fairly minuscule directions, but I think you can figure out what I'm talking about. And uh, so draw your keyboard right up there. And also, you know, if it says A sharp, I'm gonna draw an A sharp here. When you go up, um, when you go up, yeah, you got C, C sharp right there. Yeah, that, that'll do it. So put your A sharp, there's C, E, F. Well, let's do it this way. C sharp, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. So then draw the arrow down to the A sharp. And then underneath it, draw A sharp and then put a B flat for the flat. So you know that they're both. Okay. All right. Uh, see what you can do with this. I'm not going to be, well, I'm going to look over it and I'll comment. Those of you that if you've made any little mistakes, I'll, I'll mark them in the paper. But I just want to make sure you understand this because this is an important musical venture for you to learn. Most people have to wait to go to college, which you're kind of in virtually. And y'all stay safe, and I'll send you another assignment uh, next week. And I'm trying to figure out how to turn up the uh, camera backwards.